Have you considered adding motion tracking to your titles? If so, then this video is for you. Take a look at this clip. As you can see, some people have names affixed to them. This was done using titles and motion tracking. For fun, the names were randomly chosen from my list of subscribers. By the way, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, please let me know by tapping the like button. Now, let's go over how to do this. After adding your video clip to the timeline, begin by clicking the titles icon. Next, select which style of title you would like. After choosing, click and drag the title down onto your timeline and position it above your clip as desired. Also, there is another way to add titles with a bit more accuracy that you should know about. To do this, move your playhead to the moment of your clip that you would like the title to begin. Once you have positioned your playhead, right click on your title and choose Add to Current Position. Now, after placing your title, click on the Text tab. Here you can insert text, adjust fonts, and so forth. After that, click on the Motion tab. Once selected, a resizable frame will appear. This frame is what you will use to track a specific object. You can resize the frame by using any of the eight adjustment points, or if your computer mouse has a scroll wheel, simply hover over the frame and roll the wheel. To reposition the frame, just click and drag. Resize the frame to fit your object as best you can. Be sure the plus sign is on your object. Next, choose between the two tracking modes, quick or precise. Precise will take longer, but will work better on difficult movements. Once your tracking has been added, you will see this blue notification. If you ever need to reset your tracking, just click the reset button right here. Okay, now you're ready to place the title. To do this, simply click and drag to your desired placement and resize by using the provided adjustment points. Once placed, the title will always move in correlation with the object that you set your tracking on. So have some fun and experiment to find what placement looks best. When finished, click apply. The last thing you will need to do is adjust the duration of your title to match up with your video clip. So in this case, I will simply trim the title clip just as Sue is walking out of the frame. And remember, if at any time you need to make further adjustments to a title or tracking, simply double click on the title clip and this editing tab will pop open again. Now, a couple quick tips. If at any point the object you are tracking moves off the screen or behind another object, chances are the tracking will be lost. If this happens, you may need to create two titles, one to place before the tracking gets lost and another one placed after to continue the tracking. If you're trying to be very specific while setting your tracking, try this step. Click on the three dots to the bottom right of your preview window and select Unpin Player. Now, maximize this window to full screen and finish placing your tracking frame. Once set, close the window and proceed as usual. This step makes accuracy easy. In this clip, Jim is highlighted anywhere he moves by way of motion tracking. To learn how to do this, be sure to check out this video right here. And thanks for watching.